here I'm putting on clay f and adding it to the mar- the, not marble, but the ball of metal that I made. Not doing it very well. But it's my first time using clay, so don't judge me. And it popped. Oh no. And as you can see, I show the X-Acto knife. And then use a completely different tool because I'm a weak loser who wanted to use something that wouldn't cut me. I have a Zactophobia. It's, it's a real thing. And as you can see, I'm rolling it into a ball even though I didn't need to do so. Thumbs up. And here I'm going to make the wings not wings, ears, ears. Wings are coming later. I did this several times. You're gonna see the first one and then we're gonna show you the real ones. It came over my fear of the nut leaf for like a little while. It comes back in later. Never can get rid of fear. They always come back to haunt you. As you can see, I'm making the ear. I'm not very good at talking. This was my favorite ear, and it didn't work. And those are the ears I came out with. They look perfect. Now here's the wing I drew out. And you'll see what the finished product looks like. It's not my best work. I had only a few minutes to do so. And in three seconds, you'll see what it literally looks like. Boom. Now I'm cutting it out with the X-Acto knife. Not perfectly, but it did well just so I had a little thing to use to cut out the clay with. Here you can see I'm making the wing. This is one of the many other attempts I have had with the wings. I think this is the one we end up keeping. As you can see, they're very flat. I end up adding more clay to them in a little while. Adding more clay to define the wings, as you can see. I think I went to way too realistic with the wings. They look good. I like them, but they went way more realistic than we had to. I don't know why I say we. Am I multiple people now? What does my life become to? I'm making little wormy dealies for the wings. It's stuck to my hand. <gasps> Sorry, that was a yawn. And I accidentally pushed out the little roll a little too far, but that's okay. We all make a mistake once or twice in our lives. I made mine three times. Always happens to the worst of us or the best of us, either way. 
Now, I don't know how long I did the wings for, but they did take quite a long time. And my music kept pausing throughout this. And I became bored because I had to finish what I was doing or else I'd forget quite easily. But in the end, I ended up getting the right wing. Oh, here's where I stabbed myself. Here's where the phobia comes back. I'm making a little crying face. Never lose your phobias. Oh, well, do sometimes because some of them are hard to get rid of and not really worth having. But yeah, I got over my fear again. And then I had my mom come and help me. Shout out to my mom. She was very sweet. I scolded her because she nearly cut herself. Yes, I scolded my mom. Don't don't judge me. I get very worried when my mom's holding sharp tools. And I was trying to figure out on the side how to do the teeth. With a very, very small piece of clay. And I disappeared trying to figure out how to do the teeth off camera. She's digging out the mouth, as you can see, because that was very, very important to do because I'm not good with these tools. <laughs> they scare me too often. As you can see, she nearly cut herself there, and that's when I started scolding her after saying thank you. As you can see, we did end up getting sort of the right shape. This is my mom doing the teeth because I didn't do very well at all. Like any of the times that I did them. And as you can see, she goes to cut off that little piece that doesn't make sense. My mom was a very good helper during this. Same with the dogs. They really like to leave their hair everywhere. And the dog hair will be forever be a part of this sculpture. It's molded into the layers. <laughs> As you can see, my mom was being very precise with the cutting of and shaping of each tooth. Doesn't matter if one's longer than the other, their teeth, one is going to be longer or shorter. And here's when we're putting them in. That was fun. I got stabbed by the teeth. As you can see, I started using the back of my nail. Ended up getting all the teeth in. Put the wings on, that was fun. Got the perfect how I wanted them. You can see here that I screwed up. Not really. Not really, but I put them in and then left giant weird little holes. And you'll see in a minute how it ended up looking before we had to fix it. Yeah, that was a that was depressing to find out was really sad about that and that was one of the better shaped ones as you can see we reshaped it and then I painted him don't mind the little reference photo in the corner it ended up getting moved we had to do at least two layers of white paint to this And it took forever. Drying and then painting. With some, for someone with ADHD, it gets very tedious. As you can see, we ended up painting it the correct colors. My mom did the eyes. 
And then I accidentally dropped him. Turns out he can't fly. As you can see, there's marks on his face. My brother did the glamour shots. They're so beautiful. My dog contributed again with the hair. As you can see, he's turning it with his fingers. This is glorious. As you can see, the wing sort of bent back into the shape that we bent it away from. So that we figured out that it slowly bends back over time. It's a lot worse now. It's, it's still cute. 